Welcome to Movies in a Nutshell. This is Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, a 2001 film directed by Peter Jackson, based on the 1954 novel by J.R.R. Tolkien. The story begins in the Second Age of Middle-earth, where the lords of elves, dwarves, and men are given the Rings of Power. The Dark Lord Sauron forges in secret the One Ring in Mount Doom where he puts his great power in order to dominate the other rings and conquer Middle-earth. One ring to rule them all. A final alliance of men and elves battles Sauron's forces in Mordor. Isildur of Gondor is able to cut off Sauron's finger and the ring with it, thereby vanquishing Sauron and returning him to spirit form. With Sauron's first defeat, the Third Age of Middle-earth begins. The Ring's influence corrupts Isildur, who takes it for himself, but he doesn't have it for very long. He is later killed by orcs. The Ring is lost in a river for 2,500 years until it is found by Gollum. Gollum obsesses over the Ring for over four and a half centuries. The Ring abandons Gollum, and while Gollum wasn't looking, it was found by a hobbit named Bilbo Baggins, who was unaware of its history. Sixty years later, in Bilbo's hometown of the Shire, Bilbo celebrates his 111th birthday. He is reunited with his old friend, the wizard Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf notices that there's something different about Bilbo. Bilbo reveals that he intends to leave the Shire for good, and he wants to leave everything, including the ring, to his nephew Frodo. Gandalf investigates the ring, discovers its true nature, and learns that Gollum was captured and tortured by Sauron's orcs, revealing that the ring is in the Shire. Gandalf returns and warns Frodo to leave the Shire to take the ring to the elves in Rivendell and make Samwise Gamgee promise to help Frodo on his journey. Meanwhile, Gandalf rides to Isengard to seek the counsel of Saruman the White but soon discovers that Saruman has formed an alliance with Sauron, who has returned. Saruman tells Gandalf that he has dispatched the Nazgul to find and kill Frodo to take the ring. Along their journey, Frodo and Sam are joined by fellow hobbits Merry and Pippin. They evade the Nazgul before arriving in Bree, where they are meant to meet Gandalf. However, Gandalf never arrives because he has been taken prisoner by Saruman. The hobbits are then aided by a ranger named Strider, who promises to escort them to Rivendell. At the ruins of Weathertop, the Nazgul ambush them, and their leader stabs Frodo with a Morgul blade that can turn Frodo into an undead spirit like the Nazgul. Arwen, an elf and Strider's beloved, locates Strider and the hobbits on the road to Rivendell and rescues Frodo. Arwen summons floodwaters that sweep the Nazgul away. She takes him to Rivendell, where Frodo is healed by the elves. When Frodo wakes up, he sees Gandalf, who explains that he was taken prisoner on the roof of Isengard, and he had to escape on a giant eagle. That night, Strider reunites with Arwen, and they affirm their love for one another. Facing the threat of both Sauron and Saruman, Arwen's father, Lord Elrond, decides against keeping the ring in Rivendell. He holds a secret council of elves, men, and dwarves from around Middle-earth. Frodo and Gandalf present the ring to the council. Since they cannot destroy the ring themselves, they decide the ring must be destroyed in the fires of Mount Doom, where it was originally made by Sauron. Frodo steps up and volunteers to take the ring to Mount Doom. He is accompanied by Gandalf, Strider, who is actually Aragorn, and Isildur's heir and the rightful king of Gondor, Elf Legolas, Dwarf Gimli, Boromir of Gondor, plus the hobbits Sam, Merry, and Pippin. Frodo visits Bilbo, who is now living in Rivendell. Bilbo gives Frodo his sword Sting, along with a chainmail shirt made of mithril, an impenetrable metal. The newly formed Fellowship of the Ring sets off from Rivendell over the mountains of Karadas, but they are unable to get through because Saruman summons a storm that forces them to change course. They decide they must go under the mountain, 
through the mines of Moria that are run by the dwarves. However, after finding the dwarves of Moria dead, the Fellowship is attacked by orcs and a cave troll. They hold them off but are confronted by Balrog, an ancient creature that lives within the mines. While the Fellowship escapes, Gandalf fights off the Belrog and is able to cast it into a vast chasm, but the Belrog drags Gandalf down into the darkness with him. The devastated Fellowship reaches Lothlorn, an elven kingdom that is ruled by the elf queen Galadriel, who privately tells Frodo that only he can complete the quest, and that one of his friends in the Fellowship will try to take the ring from him. Meanwhile, in Isengard, Saruman creates an army of Urukai, creatures that are half orc and goblin. He sends out the Urukai to find and kill the Fellowship. The Fellowship travels by river to Parth Glen, where they stop to rest. Frodo wanders off and is confronted by Boromir, who tries to take the ring as Lady Galadriel had predicted. The Urukai catch up to the Fellowship and they are ambushed, and Boromir is mortally wounded as he fails to stop the Urukai from taking Merry and Pippin as prisoners. Aragorn arrives and confronts Boromir as he dies, promising to help the people of Gondor in the coming conflict. Fearing the ring will corrupt his friends, Frodo decides to travel to Mordor alone, but allows Sam to come along, recalling his promise to Gandalf to look after him. Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli set out to rescue Merry and Pippin. Frodo and Sam make their way down the mountain pass of Evan Mule towards Mordor, the location of Mount Doom. The story continues in The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Stay tuned to Movies in a Nutshell. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button.